friends. We are so excited to be with you on this Friday. Today we have some uh, furry friends. <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty creepy. <laughs> People have left these in my mailbox because we're doing bizarre Bible stories. And the first two weeks of the month, we have done Old Testament stories that had a talking donkey and some bears. Uh, and so our next two stories, this Sunday, we're going to be talking about snake handling in churches and how it's a sign of your faithfulness. So have you ever um, handled a snake? No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I try to avoid them at all costs, typically. <laughs> and then the last story is from the New Testament, and it is about a bunch of pigs that run off a cliff. So these are the last two weeks of our Bizarre Bible Stories, and we hope you will join us, whether we're in line or online or in person. So, And then um, the next thing we want to talk to you about is our Painting with Brittany class. Mm -hmm. uh, Brittany has been leading these. Uh, they've had two classes. They've had about 15 people take the class and create some beautiful things. And it's going to be offered one more time on August 3rd. So if you want to do that, you've uh, got to let Brittany know so she has supplies for you. There is a cost, but I can't remember. $30. $30. And then you get to take all your paints and canvases, mm -hmm. everything home with you. So those are the things that are happening really quick. But And then the next thing that we have on the calendar for you all is Family Promise. Yes, Family Promise. Men needed for July 31st through August the 5th. So it, this week is, that week is our turn. So as the host church, we are asked to provide dinner for the families each evening. So if you are available to help uh, provide a meal, please go to our website, faithtursa.org and click the stay connected button and you can find the link. Yes, as a matter of fact, I mentioned last time we did this that I didn't understand about the no casseroles. And so I got an answer for that. Kendra said that everyone was making chicken casseroles. And so every day the families were getting some variation of a chicken casserole. Yes, right. So <laughs> it's, it, none of us want to have chicken casserole for dinner every night. So yes. they're asking us to look at what the other people who sign up are providing to make sure we're not duplicating um, and they're not having to have a chicken casserole for dinner every night. So if you'll pay attention what other people are making, you'd be willing to provide a meal. It's a wonderful ministry, and um, it's meeting an incredible need right now. Uh, so many families who are struggling with the high temperatures outside. Yes. Yeah, for family promise. So then we have on July 31st, we have breakfast uh, for the whole church at 10 a.m. Um, between the services, we have volunteers who are bringing breakfast casseroles and the men are making pancakes. So um, you should be able to find something you love. We invite you to, if you want to be with your Sunday school class, you can, but we really encourage you to spread out and mingle and maybe sit with people you don't know and get to know them on that day. And then after church on July 31st, we're having our faith welcome. So if you've been visiting the church or you've been a guest, uh, we encourage you to sign up for faith welcome. We're gonna have lunch provided. We give a tour of the church. We have staff there that you can ask questions to about who we are. We talk about our values and our mission statement and try to get everybody connected. So. Uh, please join us. Basically, we're going to have free food all day yes. on July 31st. Yes, <laughs> yes we are. Uh, then we have a ad council meeting that day. We're going to meet in person because we have someone coming. We have a guest speaker that day. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a very full Sunday, but it, as good Methodist form, there'll be lots of food. So then that brings us to our very last big thing, which is, do you remember? Something new you've not experienced. Yeah. Block party. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Block party. Block party. Yeah. So, yeah. So we are looking for uh, this uh, this year uh, we will do Black Party August 12th, 
Yeah. So Friday night, mm -hmm. we do it in the evening, so it won't be a million degrees in August, because yeah. <laughs> we used to do it on Sunday afternoon. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so we have inflatables mm -hmm. for all ages, including adults, if we want to do the yes. obstacle course. And we have um, Wyatt Smith, who used to be our assistant youth director, is bringing his band, and they're going to mm -hmm. play that night. Super cool to see Wyatt again. And then um, we're going to have food trucks. So um, everybody uh, bring a little bit of money to uh, buy your dinner in the food truck. So we're it's a lot of fun. And um, hopefully the weather will be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it rains. We one year it rained so much in August, and we were thrilled with the rain. But okay. invite your friends, invite your neighbors. It's open for the entire community, not just for our congregation. That'll be on August 12th. We do have on the Connect page this week uh, places for you to sign up if you want to do hospitality and welcome people. We have hydration stations where we have free water all night. We're going to have Josh's stone cones or ice cream, something like that, uh, that night that's going to be free. Um, so every your water and your dessert and your music, that's all free. So the only thing you need money for is dinner. Good. So, Good. Yeah, so we've got a lot going on. We hope you will join us. We'll see you Sunday.